And well, he took a rest in the me meantime as well. Uh, let's see. Would, uh, hmm. Okay. And I'm actually, let's see, is there a Mm. Actual... Ah, oh, yes, there is Mustafa's pawn shop. I don't imagine it'll be open either. But These pawn shops do business if they're closed all day. Hmm. Well, maybe this is the kind of place where, it's, where you get more business by being open at night. Yeah, I guess that could make sense in a place like this, yeah. yeah. But Mustafa is out of business. Well, let's try asking the neighbors. Oh, hey, it's le leather leather goddesses in, in an Infocom game. I wonder what that could be a reference hmm. to. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Of course, there is a madame. Ah, bonjour, madame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I never understood this part at, right at the end. Why does she look at you and shake her head sadly? Like, why... That doesn't seem to fit in with the setting. I don't know. Maybe Marie just looks like such a poor excuse for a human being or something. Oh, well, that, that's, that's nice. <sighs> Let's ask about the neighbors. <clears throat> well... Yeah, let's leave this place. Mm. I wanted to stay. Mm, you can do that on your own time. Okay. Oh, the blue parrot. Uh, which is also closed. Oh, I guess I guess the Muyadin Mu Mu is just that kind of place that uh, it's most of the places are open at night. Mm. Oh, yeah. New Orleans Soul and Fast Food Franchises. Authentic American Cajun Food. Um, okay, just curious about what that acronym stood for. <sighs> well... Mm -hmm. Shopping around for something. There appears to be a robot here. Oh, there is a saying: the Buddha Yin hides from the light. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Home, sweet home. Yeah, this is an electronic shop which is also closed. Okay, let's go sleep a bit more. Now, what's the next one? Um, let's try, say. Hmm. 
Fortune Days has probably been sitting here since before you were born. Hmm. Damage musical instruments. I wonder if they have an onklunk. A rare Peruvian onklunk. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go say hi to Friendly, which is also an average looking Arab shopkeeper. Let's wait talk to him a bit and ask if he might be the one who bought out Mustafa's stock. Hmm. Okay. Um, to redeem the item. Yes. Because Mustafa's pawn shop sold only one single item. Well, he did look at our pawn ticket. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. He's okay. We're spe specifically redeeming the item that the ticket is for. Okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Let's buy this. Um, oh, and he has an answering machine. Oh, that's useful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Let's. Well, I don't think we are going to get. But uh, and I guess we should. I'm supposed to. I think. Uh, oh, do we have to? Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Brass ring. Mal must. Mm. Mm. <sighs> let's uh, let's see what this on entering machine chip we also got. This is Kenji Carter. I am not going to answer the phone. Leave a message. Hmm. Hmm. Oriental language. <coughs> hmm. Which, by the way, they couldn't say today. It would be an Asian language today. Hmm. MCDIX. He'll kill me if he finds me first. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. Hmm. This is something we can follow up on, and there's also the uh, question of the Oriental language. I mean, this sells Chinese. Well. Oh. Oh, you're right. That Chinese to go is probably a Chinese language daddy. Yeah. Well, um, we could try it, and I believe you can also get Korean chip from one of the street dealers. But, well, I guess I'll spoil it and tell you that neither of those are the languages we are looking for. What we want is... I guess the name Kenji is a bit of a clue if you know about Asian names. I guess that's true. It doesn't really sound like a Chinese name. Yeah. Or a Korean one. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't really know Korean names very well, very well but yeah, it, uh, you're right, it sounds more Japanese. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, we could also... Hmm. Okay, let's. Hmm. Okay, this guy does not have it. Nope. Your stuff is garbage. You don't even have Japanese. Hmm. One thing we can ask about is this. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Oh. Dixon was here. Cheery, you ignorant woman. That makes me think of Allo Allo. Okay, now she's not sure. You just told us that. She, yeah. Okay. All right. Mm. Sure. Let's. Yeah. See. Great. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well. Sure. Okay, sure. Um Magala. Mm, let's see. to Lila, which reading the book, I'm a bit surprised she's in the game. The book gives a good impression that she might en have ended up dead. Yeah, I was actually thinking the same thing, but you know, it's it's the future. Maybe um, they can just kind of re-implant people. Yeah, and well, stubborn old ladies uh, can be tough. Yeah. Hmm. Can I help you? Was that true enough? Yes, I think uh, I think my first response is yes, you can by not talking anymore. I had a Japanese cheap marriage saga, but I sold it to a Chuvalo fella. I don't rightly recall his name. Kind of narrows it down. There probably aren't many jewelers in the city. Uh, oh. Mmm, Honey Pilar. Uh, she was also mentioned in the book, yeah. I believe. Mostly naked when you're Honey Pilar. Naked is the only way to go. Mm. Mm. Okay, I, I, I'm, I, I don't believe that superluminally is a word. Mm. Wait. Superluminally. Um. Wouldn't? that mean faster than light? Um, I think it just means super as in extraordinarily or, or or unusually so, but I I don't know. I, I think Actually it, uh, <laughs> keep talking uh, according, to, according to me, we might want to see what she has to actually sell. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow, she gets some good stuff. I was gonna say, I think it it might be it might indicate some rather nerdy tendencies among you and I that we're focusing on the use of <laughs> English grammar while looking at a eight foot tall naked woman. But mm. anyway, um, Let's see, she also has the phantom. Um, I remember the um, the kung fu master is actually very good. The kung fu master is the one that gives you awesome. Uh, hand-to-hand -hand fighting capabilities that lets you win almost any fight. Yeah, I've, once, I've seen also it recommended in <coughs> walkthroughs. And also, now there's a English 101 chip here. So, even though we are oh. reading this all in English, it's assumed they are all speaking in Arabic, I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure the point is that, yeah, <coughs> characters in this game don't actually speak English. They're actually speaking Arabic in the game world. Mm, yeah. Well, let's get the Kung Fu Master. Another one I like to use is the Outlaw, though, that's with a, with a firearm. Oh, yeah, that's specifically shooting, yeah. Mm, 
a gun for Master is good. It's very useful because if you're ever caught without a gun, you can still pretty much beat up anyone. Yeah, let's, let's get that. And we can also you now show how things work with some of these. And by the way, it's a pressure rate makes... well, it blocks out all sensations. Right. The point is that <coughs> you are not impaired by pain, but... Well, as you can, you can figure out the unfortunate side effects yourself. Yeah, that's also from the book, by the way. I remember that was very, uh, very much used in the book to suppress limitations caused by being tired or hungry or in mm. pain. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember that. When that and oh, Marie used it to go, <laughs> no. It several day go on for several days, and then when he turned it off, he pretty much collapsed collapsed on the spot. Right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and as you can see, uh, using modis and well, some that is as well, they can increase your certain statistics above that base maximum. Yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. I, this is probably one of my favorite ships in the game because it, it really amps you up and it uh, it mm. makes you a lot more powerful, obviously. Yeah, and I can also... I guess we can show the side effect of having a muddy. Let's... Um, uh -uh. Hmm... It doesn't always do it, but mm -hmm. yeah, so I know what you're saying. Sometimes when you try to say something, it'll cause him to say something completely different. Yeah, something in line with the current muddy personality. Uh, that's just that's just a minor inconvenience. You can always talk to people again. <clears throat> okay, now. Uh, Let's see... What did we have? Okay, we have... Mac... No, Mac Dixon to... Track down... Oh, and Heidi, a German girl. A real one. Ah, jawohl. Guten Abend. Mm, welcome to my humble club. No, that's not... Welcome to my humble club. How can I be of... I help you tonight? We can help Okay. Um. Okay. Oh yeah, we have already learned about the Japanese. We need some place where we can find hookers. Always a useful resource. Um. Hmm. Hi there, Marie. Should be hanging, usually hanging out by at, at bars. Okay. Here, there is a uh, mm. a lady of the night. Mm. <coughs> okay. No, it's not her. There's something like maybe. Four different hookers, but at least they each have distinctive appearances. No. Um, Are there really only four hookers in this entire game? Yeah, from what I recall. Okay, there's another one. <coughs> Ah. Hotel. Ah. And we are actually near a hotel, I believe. Yep. Nope. Okay. We were near a hotel, but not an open one. Or an ah. operating one. Ah. There's another hotel. You sense that someone may be following you. The dog. 
cannot bite when he has a bone in his mouth. Yeah, that's another thing. The, the Morisco sometimes Mario has oh, this, yeah. <laughs> this flavor thoughts. Oh, yeah, this internal dialogue yeah. becomes impacted. The yeah. Kung Fu Master gives him these Zen things. <clears throat> and, and, you know, the outlaws give things like weird, no wanted posters anywhere, right? Or you, you feel naked without a gun on your hip or something like that. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, the Mahdi doesn't just give you abilities, it, it actually does completely transplant your personality. Yeah. One very, very effective uh, of writing, how would I call it, of writing um, effect or something. The book A uses, literary mechanism? Yeah, writing literary mechanism the book uses is, now the book is mainly to told uh, in a first person's perspective, well, told by Marie or narrated by Marie, mm -hmm. but whenever he chips in one of those modis, it turns in shifts into third person. You know that's, you know it's funny because I read the book quite recently, but I, I've you remember a lot of those details better than I do. But you're right, I remember that now. Mm. That's uh, that was quite interesting. Mm. It only happens a couple of times though. He doesn't use the modis that much in the book. Mm. Yeah, one amusing bit is when he he wants to you know get some help in his detective work, and he goes get a muddy for Nero Wolf, the fictional uh, detective, private investigator, de detective or whatever. And the first thing that happens is is he almost falls over since he now feels like he weighs a seventh of a ton. Oh, because it was a large, uh, yeah. a large personality. Yeah, yeah, it was very interesting. I actually, uh, I actually quite liked the book. I thought it was pretty well yeah. written. I agree. Mac Dixon stayed here earlier. He had a young woman with him, but Mr. Dixon was not satisfied. With I'm going to, uh, okay. Let's inquire about Mac Dixon's package. My good sir, I am not into that kind of thing. <laughs> hmm. My good man, I must ask you about. Hmm. Just told us about a package, and now you say you don't know of any package. Hmm. Surely I cannot do that. That's my job. Oh, if you are too poor. Uh... Oh, we, we can fix that. We can make you less poor, sir. Ah. Okay, good. I gave him enough. Hmm. 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 Um. Mm. Did we? Did we need some? Did we need to do something special before investigating the hotel room? No, I don't believe so. Hmm, but well, this has again good, went on well over 20 minutes. We're actually closing up on 25. Ooh! I'm in room 247 at the Sala. Hmm. Okay, I guess we should investigate that at some point. Um, Okay, passion drugs, damn it, I missed my, uh, alright, apartments. If the light serves to see, it also serves to be seen. Yes. Indeed. Okay, let's save here and continue next time. Next time.